it's been a busy time for Florida Man. And I got a, actually a lot of Florida Man stories here. So let's kick it. It's time for a Florida person. It's time to check what Florida is up to. Oh my gosh, the story is, I am in stitches. So here's the headline and subhead. This comes from Tampa Bay Times. I thought, I thought Usain Bolt was fast. Okay, I thought he was like the fastest man ever. But have you ever been so fast or have you ever known of someone who is so fast that as they're running away, their clothes fly off? Because that's what happened to this Florida man. DNA and sock leads to arrest of gang member in St. Pete shooting. Police say a suspect in a shooting ran away so fast that some of his clothes came off, including a sock. Dang. When St. Petersburg police arrived on the scene of a shooting, they learned a man had been shot multiple times. Uh, it was apparently gang violence. And their key piece of evidence in the case was a sock. They were able to pull DNA from it that matched Octavius Jesse Henderson, who's 19. He was booked to Pinellas County Jail uh, just this last end of last week on an attempted murder charge. He ran away so fast that he left actual, he literally, like, it, it's like a Warner Brothers thing, apparently. He just, like, apparated out of some of his clothes because he ran so fast and they were able to get a sock that he left behind because he ran away so quickly and that's how they were able to identify him here's a headline you don't hear every day and I'm also wondering if there's not a band name in here somewhere roving band of herpes ridden monkeys now roaming northeast Florida sorry about that gosh dang this is uh, New York Post has the article a roving band of feral Herpes ridden monkeys are wreaking havoc across northern Florida. The STD addled Rasus macaws, right? Yeah. Mac Macacus. Macacus. This is, we're going to hear it from Twitter. I, is it Mac? Uh, well, it's a damn monkey. It's all you need to know. I think it's macaques. It's macaques. A, that's not right. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Macaques. That can't be correct. I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't really think it is. They, they're, they're all around northern Florida, and they've been spotted as far away as Jacksonville, St. John, St. Augustine, uh, Elkton, Florida, and a quarter of them, there's 300 of these macacus, I don't know, feral monkeys. It's an invasive species, apparently. They carry, they carry herp B. They were introduced to the area in the 30s by a cruise operator whose name is literally, it was literally called Colonel Tui's Jungle Cruise and they released 12 monkeys over a series of years into this man-made island, and then now it's all this. They swam to freedom and are reproducing at an alarming rate. University of Florida primate scientist Dr. Steve Johnson told First Coast News, the, pol the potential ramifications are really dire. They said that the, the males that are bigger are very strong, very dangerous, and so now licensed trappers, you can cull them, but yeah, if you see one of them, run away because they probably have her herpes and they'll attack you. It's a long story short. Uh, let's see. Backstory on that painted Florida, that painted house, because a Florida man is just taking it to his HOA or his neighbors. A Florida man, he turned his $5,000 home into a rainbow nightmare to get back at his dad. 500000 yes. Uh, it was a father-son feud, and he did this ridiculously whack job, rainbow-colored paint job on a half-million-dollar home in a very, very affluential, mm -hmm. uh, gated Florida community. And it looks like a Jackson Pollock painting, but not with his talent. And apparently it is about a fight between the dad and the son. That's how it started. Fascinating. It's like a soap opera. 